Hello my crafty friends and welcome to a very exciting day for me. This is the release day of my new collection with Spellbinders. It is called Paint Your World. There are six die sets available, bigger and smaller, and there is also a stamp set to complement the designs. These are all really fun to play with. I'm going to show them to you one by one. Today I will focus on one of the die sets and show you a couple of ideas. And throughout the week I will come back with even more ideas using the rest of the sets. You can get every one of those products individually, but you can grab the whole collection in a bundle for a discount. You will find all the links that you need down below. And let's start with the first and bigger of the die sets. This is the Painted Blooms. It gives you a really big brush and notice that all those pieces not only die cut but also allow for some embossing while you run it through your die cutting machine. So it is going to give you lots of details. Now you can use the bristles on the brush or if you like instead of bristles you can go really creative and use the different leaves and flowers to embellish it. So you can have a flower composition coming out of your brush handle or you can create a normal brush and embellish it with the flowers included in the set. This is a big focal point which makes it perfect for slimline cards but also for our general projects since you will end up with a lovely focal point that really makes a statement on a project. However, you can easily fit it on top of a standard card if you just chop off a little bit. So here is an example on a slimline card. A lovely focal point and with that you don't really need to do a lot on your background. Here is another example where I chopped off part of the brush handle so you can get an idea on how it can be used for a standard card. And here is one more idea. On this card I combined both leaves and bristles. Tomorrow is Mixed Media Tuesday on my YouTube channel and I will be using this set to create my art journal layout. But if you don't like playing with big focal points, I've got you covered. Here is a smaller brush and although it's way smaller, there are still etched details on that handle that you will get when you die cut everything. Now this one is going to give you a smaller brush that fits perfectly for a standard card and truth is that you can add way more than one brush on a standard card since it is quite small. Again, you get dies to cut out the bristles and this time you get butterflies to embellish your card. This set, apart from the brush, gives you many butterflies which are really versatile for so many projects and uh, you will get both the outline as well as a detail layer plus you will get this tie that cuts out the bodies for your butterflies. This set is called Butterfly Burst and here are a couple of examples and again throughout the week I will come back with lots of videos to inspire you using my new collection. Now I'm bringing in another set, this is the Artful Tulip. I kept the other one on screen so you can see the difference on the handles and while on the first one you were embellishing your brush with butterflies, on this one you get leaves as well as tiny little tulips. This is a really sweet set and it's the one that I will be focusing on today. I will create a couple of cards as well as show you some extra inspiration. And here is the last one with a brush. This is where you get the option to embellish your brush by using paint. And for all these sets you can see that you get a completely different handle on the brushes. So in case you want to grab more than one set, you can easily interchange the embellishments and you will not end up with identical brushes. Here is an example using the Artful brush and you can see that the, the standard card fits more than one brush. And this is the Painter's Palette set. In this set you will get ties to put together a brush completely different than the rest of the brushes. And this is quite long so it would make a great focal point for a slimline card as well but it fits on a standard card too. The palette was designed big so you can use it to actually create a palette shaped card but it also fits on top of a standard card. You will get four different designs of uh, paint blobs that you can embellish your palette and of course you get four dies that help you put together a paint tube. You can create cards just with a palette, you can combine the brush with a palette, you can make a card just with the tubes you don't need to use all the elements on one card and this is a really fun set to create cards for all our crafty friends. 
And finally, here is a stamp set that complements the rest of the designs. This is the Paint Your World Sentiments. And here is a close-up photo where you can see all the different options that you get. Create happiness, you color me happy, and so much more. So for today, I'm focusing on this little stamp set. This is the Artful Tulips and it is super adorable. I'm going to create first the brush so you can see how you can put it together. And it is the exact same technique for putting all the brushes on this collection together. So I went ahead and did all the die cutting. First of all, I cut out four identical pieces using the bristles die. The more of those you cut, the more layers you will be able to add for your bristles and they are going to be fluffy and thick. So this consists of three parts. I did die cut it from uh, two shades of blue cardstock and the top one is iridescent cardstock as well as the extra detail. So I'm going to stick one on top of the other just to add some extra dimension and of course you can use different colors for this part of the brush. And if you like, for this top part, you can even go dimensional by adding some foam tape at the back. Now let's put together the bristles. If you notice those identical pieces, when you place one next to the other, they are going to fit perfectly. And if you just place those two next to each other, they will fit perfectly on your handle. However, since I like to have some fluff on my brush, I like to double up on the layers. So after connecting those two with some double-sided tape, I turn it around and peel off the backing so that I can stick on top one more layer of those bristles. And again, I made sure that as I stick them down, they do not overlap with the first layer, so you can get some bristles in between the gaps. And you can add an extra third layer if you like, this is going to turn it really dimensional. Now I have all the elements for my brush ready to go and I did went ahead and die cut a few more pieces. All of these leaves come from the same set, so I just went ahead and cut them out from blue instead of the usual green. I also have a yellow flower. The flower comes from the Painted Blooms set and uh, I actually used the smaller of the flowers. I cut out two layers. I also die cut one of the centers using the iridescent cardstock and then I do have some butterflies that I die cut from the iridescent cardstock which come from this die set which is the butterfly burst. This gives you dies to cut out bodies for your butterfly but I chose not to use them for this card. Now you can go ahead and glue all those parts of the brush on your panel, however since I want everything to be raised, I'm going to use some foam tape at the back and stick them together with the foam tape. And once everything is secured together, I'm going to turn my brush around and I will add some extra foam tape just to make sure that nothing is going to come apart. I'm placing the brush at the center of my white panel and again remember this is raised since it has foam tape underneath. I will use one flower on the side and then tuck underneath some of the leaves. Now this leaf has two parts, you are supposed to tie cut one from lighter and the other from darker color. However, for this design I didn't want to mix and match too many colors, that's why I just kept everything quite simple. But you will see what I mean in the next card. So I'm just tucking underneath some of the leaves. I'm going to place this white panel on top of a navy blue cardstock. This is the exact same color as the handle of my brush. And then I'm going to pop the whole thing on top of my card base. For the card base I went with light grey which matches the bristles on my brush. So I'm not introducing any new color with those layers. Absolutely love how it looks. I'm going to embellish it with the butterflies and add a few gems. And of course I will add a sentiment at the end. You can add even more flowers and butterflies to embellish it if you like. I wanted to keep that quite simple. And of course the color scheme is inspired by Ukraine. For my sentiment I went with You Color Me Happy that I white embossed and die cut it with a circle die. And I know that I am biased since I designed this set but I absolutely love it. Look how gorgeous this card is. Here are some close-up photos on this version where I actually use the bristles 
on my brush. Now let's create a second card where I will be using leaves and flowers instead. Again I'm playing with the same set. Again for the details on the ferrule I went ahead and die cut everything with the iridescent cardstock since I had it already on my desk and for the rest of the parts I went with uh, brown cardstock and pink cardstock. Now I'm going to put together this leaf and you can see I have the base one with a darker shade of green and then on top I'm going to stick the smaller piece which is in lighter color. This is going to create some color variation and it's going to make it look dimensional. Now at the back I'm going to add some glue and of course in this uh, part you can go ahead and add some double sided tape if you like and I'm going to fill it up with leaves. Notice that for my leaves I cut out some from uh, lighter and others from darker shade of green just to have some variation so that nothing looks flat. And again, just like we did with the previous card where we added more than one layer of bristles, you can do that with leaves here to make it look more dimensional. So here is exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to add at the back a few more extra leaves in between the gaps. And then just like I did in the first card, I'm going to use a thin strip of foam tape to connect the three pieces. So the first card is an example of using the brush with the bristles. The second card is an example of how you can use it just with the leaves without using the bristles at all. And then at the end I'm going to show you an example of how you can combine the two. The tulips come with two parts, cut out one from lighter and another one from the darker layer. Keep the darker at the back to give some dimension. And then if you need some stems, you can use the bristles. This is what you get from die cutting the bristles and it works perfectly as a stem for the tulips. That's what I did here and you will see the detail in the close-up photos. So for my card base I went with a light green cardstock that I used for the leaves. Then I have a lovely detailed panel, white panel on top. And I placed this time the brush on one side of my card base so that I have enough space for the sentiment on the other side. You can use any of the sentiments from the stamp set. I decided to go with Create Happiness, which I stamped with black ink and then I went all around it and fuzzy cut it with my scissors. I embellished the card by adding a few gems. I was debating here whether I want to add an extra embellishment using this butterfly. I decided not to. And let me bring in the other card that I made using the same set. At the end of this video you will see close-up photos on both these cards and an extra idea that I made a while ago. So I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for joining me as I introduced my latest collection for Spellbinders. Links to everything can be found below. Thank you all so much and I'll see you all tomorrow.